In this video we're going to look at how to remove a Google Analytics account from your system um, and also how to delete it if that's what you want to do. So you've got to be very careful if you delete an account because if you're the only person because then nobody can can access it basically. So do you really want to delete it or do you just want to remove yourself from the account? So if we go into the admin section and we're in the Hope Organics account. So we can go in and we can have a look at the user management and we can see, okay, this is ourselves here. And so if we wanted to, we could just delete ourselves as a user. And so therefore that account will no longer appear um, in your account because you only get a hundred accounts. So it might be that you get to the point where there's too many of them. And so that way you can delete yourself as the, um, as having permissions to access that. However, if for some reason you want to actually totally delete the account, like I do because this one that I created isn't a real account, then I have a couple of options. So if it's the whole account, then you can do, you can go here and put it in the trash can. Or if it is a property, uh, then we can go into the property settings. And there is a new thing now because you used to just delete it straight from here. But now you can actually move that to the trash can. And then you can learn more about the trash can because it's actually scheduled for deletion. And which means that you can actually retrieve it if you want to. So what we can do is we can delete the property now. And so we can see that that doesn't exist anymore. If for some reason we're like, oh my God, no, we actually delete, we didn't want to do that. You can go to the trash can, you can click on it, click on it and then you can um, restore it. So it looks like I've got about a month because it looks like it's going to be deleted in a month's time. So that's my, you know, that's my options for for that if I want to actually totally delete it but as I said you just got to work out whether you want to totally delete something because then you can't access the data anymore or whether you just want to remove yourself from being from it being in your account 